Yeah, in this video, let's uh, try to finish that lock up, uh, that lock that would never would never work in real <laughs> real life. But okay, so let's take care of that. So take the uh, created polygon cube, bring it down there, go to the side view, and uh, yeah, let's uh, scale that guy. Maybe we might want to move it first and then scale it out to a size something like that and then let's uh, move it down first check out the height of it so let's uh, scale it down somewhere about here so something like this and then we uh, give it um, we have to scale it out in X as well okay so somewhere that it fits in inside that uh, thing with the holes something like that maybe a little bit more okay all right so let's take that guy and then we uh, give it some subdivisions here on the width uh, one so that we only have to work on one side here and uh, let's give it some subdivisions on the depth Let's do the same here, like 20, as we did with the first piece down there. And then let's uh, delete the faces here on that side. And then let's, uh, again, create a bend deformer on that. So with that selected, um, go in here under your animations tab and go here to create deformers, um, nonlinear, and then bend. And again, we do the same stuff here, give it a little bit of curvature and then we rotate that 90 degrees in Y and then uh, did that work out? yeah and then we need to uh, rotate that uh, Y here after rotating it a little bit uh, dial down the Y to 0 and then let's um, check it out from the side view if the bend is okay I think it's that's pretty it comes pretty close something like that. So let's uh, select the object and then delete the history and then move that guy down so it fits into that piece with the holes and then let's check it out from the perspective view. Alright, <coughs> could be a little bit wider so let's uh, let's do that. Just scale it out and then move it up a little bit. Okay, it's not perfect but all right, mm, now let's insert some edge loops here to give it a little bit more shape. So we definitely need one here on that end, on the other end, and then we definitely need one here. Okay, so that's uh, one part here. Um, and if you want to give it a little bit shape inside, We have to insert um, some edge loops in here, so I'm just uh, putting one here, and we can put in one one here, like that. And then we select um, some faces. Let's uh, let me uh, take my um, paint selection tool, dial up the brush, and then go to face mode. And then let's say we want to have, yeah, so on both sides here, like that. And then let's extrude those up. And then when we smooth that guy out, we have a little thing in there, a little ridge or whatever you want to call it. And Okay, let me turn off wireframe on shaded to check out how that looks. That's okay. Okay, so now with that done, um, let's uh, freeze the transforms. And then we copy that over, hit Control D, scale it negative one in X. And then uh, select both pieces here, say combine, and then uh, 
select all the verts in the center and then merge those and say merge all right so I'm going with the, this one yeah and f I mean if you take a closer look <laughs> it's looking kind of weird and but yeah in the end like I said before um, we don't really see this because we when we render this let me center the pivot of that guy and then let me scale that out a little bit more comes closer to the border okay so yeah, you will only see that in the background. I mean, if you take a render from here, so nobody can really figure out that this won't really work in real life. All right. Um, so yeah, we've we've got the the lock um, done so far. Uh, feel free to go in and um, yeah, do your own stuff. Um, and uh, I see down here a little issue from from uh, I don't know where this comes from right now. Yeah, I found the problem. So when we um, mirrored that thing over here, I forgot to uh, delete those inside faces. And something that happens if you're uh, not um, taken care. So let's go here to the inside yeah, and uh, select all the faces that are there. And then uh, uh, let's uh, delete those. And there are still some faces left. And delete those as well. Okay, so that's what yeah that's what happens sometimes. So now um, let's double click on that edge and say uh, delete edge. And now we have to insert um, some edge loops here to connect this uh, later on. Um, yeah. Okay, let's let's do this real quick. So insert one here, and sometimes uh, stuff like that happens. I mean, what we could do is uh, that wouldn't help. Okay, let's insert one here and move it into its position, and insert one here, move it there, insert another one here, and move it this row here and then we take our split polygon tool add one here one here and one there so we got the one side fixed let's uh, do it down here Now we have to check out here the back side. It's looking all good. Okay. So let's go in and insert an edge loop here. Control right edge ring and utilities and split. Okay, that's not working. Uh, yeah, because this is a five-sided face here. So insert one edge loop here, put it there, and then use the split polygon tool, insert one edge there and on the back side. And now it should be done. Oh yeah, that's looking way better. Okay, so with that done um, or fixed, uh, let's show all and then uh, we delete uh, the first guy here and then we take this guy and uh, hit control oh, let's freeze the transforms and then hit control D and then scale that guy down or back negative one and Z and there you go so we got that problem solved all right so yeah let's uh, go to the next video and uh, start creating some shaders and UV maps